So we're about to go to the hospital where I'm gonna get induced and I have no idea what to expect. I'm really nervous right now. I know everything's gonna go fine. Um, I'm just praying for just as smooth as can be possible process from going into labor and hopefully delivering normal um hoping that harper's okay inside and she stays okay until she comes out we're about to leave and about to go get all of uh the stuff that we need sorted out so we can pack it into the car Yes, look at that. It's hospital couture. This is what I have to drape over myself. I am completely naked under this TMI, but um, yeah, it's about to happen. It's about to go down. I'm just gonna prop this camera up somewhere so I can't get in, sadly, because of COVID. So he has to stay out and wait. I don't know if I put this on right. That it? That is it. It's just like super hard to see because you're so gassy. Oh no. Because it's a baby, this white little bean shaped. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a transvaginal ultrasound. Okay. It's going to look huge under the transvaginal. Oh, it's okay. I do apologize. There's no maintenance down there right oh, now. Oh, come on. So how many weeks am I? Seven weeks, Seven weeks. and five days. Okay. Hi, Mom. Hi. That's become a grandma. We brought all the stuff. This is hospital couture. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to go into labor. I expected this to be a super scratchy. It's actually comfortable, so I'm not going to complain anymore. I do have to pee though. Why is there a pink strap and a blue strap? Possibly because maybe, I, will, I don't want to say it's a gender thing because I feel like that's stupid, <laughs> but it could be a gender thing. They were not a gender thing. I was wrong. <laughs> All the way again. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's gonna go all the way in the back of your cervix. And I'm not sure if your cervix is high. Okay. Oh. Pretty good. They just st stuck up something else in my vagina again. 
It's cool. Just keep sticking things up my vagina. Um, it's probably gonna take a while though. She said, I can't pee for another two hours. I can't eat or drink anything. I've got my antibiotics now, but it's the waiting game. We're gonna take six hours until I feel contractions and 12 hours until any drama happens, so. I've got ice, ice chips. I've officially made it. <laughs> you know you're about to give birth when they give you the ice chips. And this is all I can consume for the next 12 hours. <laughs> Those ice chips they greatly add flavor. All right, so we've been here for how long now? Six hours, six and a half hours. Six and a half hours. They put the medicine up my cervix about, oh, I'd say almost four hours ago. And I'm starting to feel some slight contractions. Basically just feels like a menstrual cramp, but it's not super intense yet, so. I'm able to talk and it's not very comfortable because I can't really move with so many things stuck to me so to be honest I don't think I'm really gonna sleep sleep but I'm gonna try to oh I felt it it like, <laughs> it, like tensed, it like tensed up like really hard and then like oh and this is a different pain than when she was pressing oh this is different you can feel a different yeah like this is like an actual like, like tensing in my you can feel the muscles yes yes right. yes so yeah, so with, with that in mind, I'm probably just foregoing sleep, but I'm gonna try to rest my eyes and reserve my strength so that I can survive the contractions as they get a little tougher. Oh, well, look at you. Oh my gosh, you got upgraded. Yeah, now it's quiet. I've got back to sleep. <laughs> I have been having mild contractions since maybe around 2 a.m. So four hours now. I still have an hour and a half to go before I go into active labor. And they pull the plug out of my hoo-ha and give me more medicine to keep the labor going. And um, that's all we're praying for, a safe delivery of baby girl. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Uh. Oh, it's still going, it's still going. <sighs> oh, it's still going. Oh man, that one did go. That one did go up, didn't it? How you doing, Mom? Okay. I just got my water broke. <clears throat> and hopefully they'll give me the epidural. Yeah, How you feeling, Mom? Uh, I'm getting nervous. And I'm starting to feel my contractions again, so I'm getting a little scared of the epidurals wearing off instead of kicking in. My right leg, I cannot move at all, mm -hmm. but I started to be able to uh, move my left leg like 30 minutes ago. And now my tummy and my pelvic area um, and my back, I can feel the cramps. I can feel the contractions. Just they, they're just like how I felt them when they first started. So they're probably not as strong. I mean, they are strong, but I don't feel them as strong. But I feel them regardless. All right. So I'm in a weird position right now. 
so that Harper can shift around so it's perfect position for delivery. That's why I got this ball in between my legs and I'm on my left side. She's gonna switch me over to the right side later, but I can't feel anything in my legs. I can't move my legs. I'm basically paralyzed, so I'm not feeling anything ever since I got the epidural, which I'm glad I did. I started my contractions. I started early labor at 1 a.m. last night, but I started active labor at eight and it's three now. And ever since my water broke, I went to three centimeters automatically, but then things started to slow down. So now they've upped my medication to speed up the labor. I'm at six or seven centimeters and I hope that it just keeps going so that I can have a normal delivery and no complications so we don't have to have a C-section. But yeah, just because of the medicine, I've been really drowsy. I didn't get any sleep last night, haven't slept, haven't eaten anything, haven't drank anything but ice chips. And I just feel really tired, but I think I'm doing okay. Harper's doing okay, which is the most important thing. So yeah, so we're just playing the waiting game. My mom came to visit me. She and Tom are switching out. And this hasn't been easy, but it's gone a lot smoother than I expected it to. So God is good. Amen. Ah, and that's it. Let's just keep waiting. Keep waiting and keep, keep growing cervix. We need to keep growing. Yeah, she didn't want to come out. Your sister was left by 11 ounces. Oh. Wow. She's getting colored. Colored. Huh? Yep. No longer. Hooray. Breastfeeding her again, but she's pretty content. She's sleeping. This is day two with Harper. We've got some good boob action going on. She's been acing all of her health tests. She even had a photo shoot a while ago when she was such a pro. Star in the making. Tom's been on diaper duty and burping duty and 
all around playtime. Dad, dad duty. Dad duty. So we've been having a really fun time. With that hair growing on the back of her ear. She's like a little wolf boy. Hey, Mom. How's it going? Her first day at home. She's sleeping in her crib, which was my only goal. <laughs> it's so much easier having like our own stuff. Right. <laughs> I don't it's so know. Much, it's so much easier when somebody's not coming in every 15 minutes too. Yeah. Why do we buy all this bed? We only needed one like the size of a shoebox. They didn't tell us that when you're buying baby beds. What do you think, Finn? How are you feeling? I don't know. I feel like I'm uh, coming down from like some weird drug or something. Right, right. We're just so tired, but we're constantly doing stuff that it's like hard for our body to keep up when our mind is. So when we do crash, it's hard to get yeah. back. But she's sleeping. She's been sleeping a lot since we got home. She likes to swing. She loves to swing. So that's good, but we have to try not to uh, get her used to using the swing too much because... We'll get hooked to it and then she'll never lay still in her bed. So right now we're trying to swallow her and just uh, keep her in her bed. <laughs> 